we have to understand that how our characters will be effective on the screen and they will this character should look like a realistic and very natural characters because if you see in the real life the people you observe they have a different kind of a tendencies different kind of a people who have their different emotions different way of expressions different way of lifestyle and out of these things you can observe that <clears throat> each and every person has its own unique characteristic if you understand the if you understand the characters and if you understand their activities you will able to understand that these characters have some motto in their life the immediate motto and the ultimate motto so if you understand the characters are developed to look like a real character and also to support our main character to support the goal of our protagonist to support the goal of our film our story so we have to understand that what are the things we should take care when we are doing a characterization so there can be n numbers of a characters in your film but there can be only few characters who are important characters who are leading your story and there can be one or two characters who are most important character in the film because is the the whole story is about these two characters or one character so we have to understand that if we are trying to create our protagonist so protagonist is what is is about the person the character about which we are going to tell the story so when you know what is the profession of the protagonist what is the job of the pro protagonist what is the character of the protagonist so accordingly you will have to design the characteristic of protagonist so if you know that the protagonist is a male or protagonist is a female or a protagonist is a small child or protagonist is a doctor or pro protagonist is a engineer or protagonist is a military man so ultimately you know what is your protagonist so first thing is a male or female then his or her profession what is he or she in the life so if she is a worker so what kind of a worker is it a office worker is it a farm worker is it a sex worker is it a, a corporate worker is it a <clears throat> actress or whatever or the person is a farmer or the person is a doctor or a person is a politician or a person is a criminal person is a underworld don or whatever if you know what is a profession of your protagonist that accordingly you will have to create the whole 360 degree dimensions of your characters so you'll have to understand that if one particular profession has to be justified with one particular character then you'll have to also understand that how what is the proportion of the natural personality of that human being and the professional personality of that particular person because nature has given us a particular tendency particular a uh, uh, personality that is a physical personality that is a mental personality as well as we have got a, a personality with our profession so some sort of a professional impact of the person will be there in that particular characteristic so immediately 
you should not uh, uh, identify the person that exactly that person is a medical profession or that person is a good human being so you, your your audience will judge these characters that whether that character is a person from the small town and that person is a good guy and has a particular uh, culture with that person and he or she is a struggling for the particular cause of the life so somehow when you are trying to build your character when you are trying to build your personality of the character so not external personality basically it's a eternal personality the internal mind of that person should be visible through the activities of external things of that person and that's why when we are creating the personalities or a characters then we should able to understand that what kind of a tendency that person is having because not all the good people are look like a same thing or same they behave a same uh, behavior they have their own identity in their personality they have their own lifestyle they have their own gesture they have their own treatment on their personality so if you know that you are trying to build a six seven characters in your film in your story and they have they are coming from the different backgrounds different professions different religions different uh, places then accordingly you should you, you should you should able to <coughs> portray these characters with their effective background so whatever background they have it should appear in their personality so the maximum things you will research to make your character more dynamic more realistic and more effective Thank you.